Okay, this is going to be the lesson on how to recode into same and different variables uh, using SPSS or PASW. Uh, the function we're talking about is one in which it allows you to take data that already exists and change it in some way uh, to mean something else. It may be changing uh, a nominal variable uh, to a new scale value. It may be taking uh, a median split and change them into high or low. It essentially allows us to change our existing data somehow. Um, so let's take a look at our data. We have um, participant ID, uh, participant sex, participant age, and then uh, some dependent variable to what extent do individuals believe in luck. Um, and we know that um, if we go to variable view, one is equal to men and two is equal to women. So let's say uh, we have age, and uh, let's say instead I want to be able to do, I'd like to be able to compare not age along a continuum to see if uh, older or younger people differ in their belief in luck. I just want to have this uh, be a, a simple categorical variable. I want to have people grouped as either old or young, and I just want to be able to run an independent sample t-test to see if age, uh, if old or young differs in their belief in luck. Um, so what I can do in order to change this is we have to figure out a cutoff point, a place at which uh, we're going to separate old and young. And let's say uh, we say that anyone um, above the age of uh, 28, we're going to say, is old, and anyone uh, below the age of uh, 28 is going to be young. This is obviously just an arbitrary cutoff. In order to do this, we're going to go to uh, transform, and we're going to go to recode into same or into different variables. If you recode into the same variable, it will take the variable that you have and it will change all of the data to whatever you've recoded it as. If you recode into different variables, it will make a new column with your recoded data, but will leave the old column the same. In general, I always suggest using recode into different variables, because this way, if you make a mistake, you haven't erased the old data. So we'll go into recode in different variables, and it gives us this window. And what it says is, what is your input variable and what is your output variable? We're going to take age, and we're going to place it in here. And that now that's our input variable. And now it wants to know, what is our output variable? And we're going to call this uh, recoded age. And this is age as high or low. So this is just to let us know what it means. So we have to now name what this variable is going to be. And now the next thing to do is go to old and new values. In old and new values, this is how we re this is how we tell SPSS what we want to change our coding to. We have a couple options here for old value. We can do a specific value. So we could say then uh, if you put down that you were uh, one years old, you are now going to be a one. And we'll have to code one later as low. And we could do that. And we could do that all the way up to 28. Another thing we could do is we can do lowest through a particular value. And so what we're going to say is that any numbers up to and including 27, we're going to give a one to. And then go to highest and say any values 28 or higher is going to get excuse me, a 2. If we hit continue, and then we hit OK, and we go back to our data view, we'll now see that this 18-year-old person is now a 1. This 24-year-old person is a 1. This 26-year-old person is a 1. But this 42-year-old is a 2. And this 31-year-old is a 2. If we go to variable view, we can see recorded age, and we can now put in what our values are. So 1 is young, and 2 is old. We can run a set of descriptive statistics to find out what is the frequency of young and old. It turns out that we have 11 young individuals and 7 old individuals. And we can then, in fact, if we wanted to, go and run a t-test to see if young and old actually differ in their belief in luck, which it turns out in this case, they do not. Now let's say we went back and instead we did age and we transformed into the same variable. The wind is going to look a little different. We would put age here and all we're going to do is say what are the old values and the new values. This part here is going to look exactly the same. We're going to say 27 and lower gets a 1 and that 28 and higher gets a 2. If we hit continue, 
Watch what happens to the age variable when I hit this. The old data is completely gone, and it matches up perfectly with our new uh, column when we did different variables. Now, sometimes it's not as big a deal to uh, simply recode into the same variable. Let's say I want to change sex from 1 and 2 to 1 and 0, uh, where I want, uh, one, I want men now to be 0 and women to be 1. If I go to transform same variables and I put sex in, I can hit old new values, I can uh, remove these. I want anyone who was a 1 to now be a 0, and I want anyone who was a 2 to now be a 1. I can hit continue and OK. And now my men are zeros and my women are ones. I do, however, have to remember to go back and now change men to zero and women to one. This is how you use the recode into same or different variables.